lot to talk about today, so we're going to get into it right away. The first thing is, if you're not aware of this rivals clash, it's going to be Patrick Ewing of the New York Knicks against Hakeem Olajuwon of the Houston Rockets. The very high favor right now is the Rockets because it's kind of frustrating because I feel like Ewing and Hakeem are on the same level, but just because Hakeem has, you know, a ring and the dream shake in quotes, he has the advantage. But um, yeah, the Knicks don't have even a single star playoff card, uh, uh, which is disappointing, so I really was looking forward to that. The only way the Knicks can win this is if Carmelo Anthony is involved in this rival scotch, which he won't be probably, unless he has like a really lower card, so that kind of sucks. So um, yeah, it would have been a great way to start rival scotch for playoff. Um, I definitely would have went, you know, top 500, maybe even tried to sneak in the top 100, but... So that, that's the first thing. The second thing I want to talk about is getting, you know, from Epic or Legendary or Ultra into playoff tier as soon as possible. The first thing, a media that you're going to need to do, I mean, yeah, if you have higher friends that can help you and give you RP, that does help because that's how I was able to get a couple of my guys into playoff tier from Epic really quickly. But one, you need to rack up RP by just doing goals. As you can see, I have a 12,500 goal and a 500. I did re-roll this drafting rares a couple times and just couldn't get any better. So I'm just trying to get this goal done as soon as possible to get my next goal. But um, I mean, yeah, once you get this 12,500 goal done, that's almost your problem. That's pretty much a little, you know, over halfway to a star card. That's one, and then Bravo's Clash. You know, if you can, right now it's really easy because it's going to be easy to get a star card, and then you can, you know, dupe that. You once you uh. Yeah, so you get the star card, then that you you do this goal, you're halfway to another star card, and then basically, you know. You just keep doing goals, and then that's, you know, three, four days in, you're going to have some pretty high goals, and you're already going to be up in, you know, the 40k RP. Uh, it does help a lot if you're in star, because, you know, basically, but if you're in, you know, epic, basically, you're just going to have to rely on goals and, you know, getting help from teammates, maybe, you know, paying them back in the future. I don't really know, but, so that's why I would recommend to the lower guys. I did, um, there is a couple of guys on my team, like, um, Bash, ooh, we got in the playoffs. I right, know that's a glitch. Uh, so this guy was in about a couple a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago. Not a month ago. This guy was in like ep yeah, I would say about a month ago. He was in epic tier, and the reason how he got into he pretty much is in playoff tier. He just needs one more star pro. Is he and he doesn't grind that much. I mean, the best card he's ever gotten in the Rivals Clash was a star foil, and that was the last Rivals Clash with the or the, that wasn't the last. That was the LeBron one. So let me just answer this guys. So. So basically, join this team, and I'm gonna give you guys some tips and help you so that you can, you know, become in the playoff tier. Because I don't think I don't want to see anybody not in playoff tier at this point. I want to see everybody in playoff tier, and it's gonna make it a lot easier for everyone else to get good cards because the the amount of you know prices for the playoff cards are ridiculous, and they need to come down. Wild cards, you know, they're not that hard to get. You know, I've been pulling them a lot, and believe it or not, guys, when I used to play Rivals Clash and Epic at like um, probably like a couple weeks ago. Uh, now I have a good star lineup and you know playoff probably. So I pulled two wild cards in Epic tier and one Rivals Clash day. That was amazing. I used those both obviously for the Rivals Clash card event, which I think it was it was Stephen Curry. So that's a free pro Curry right there. So you don't. Honestly, like the wild cards, they did bring them up. Sometimes they're dry. I would. The, the wild card packs are very inconsistent, so I would recommend if you want to open one. I'm not going to do it now because I don't really need a wild card, but you just open it. If you don't get anything or you don't get a wild card, then d just come back in like a couple hours and try again. Don't just sit there and open them because that's what they want and they're going to be dry most likely. You might pull one in like five, six packs, but the goal is you. I like to pull a wild card in like every you know two to three packs that's normally what I like to go for I'm not gonna sit here with 75k and get two wild cards that's that's what it should be but that's not me that's not what I want so I'm gonna tend to stay away from that if I feel really lucky I'm gonna go in and open wild card packs and sometimes yeah you will go 75k and not get not get a single one sometimes you'll go 75k and you'll get you know three four so that's pretty much how it works it's gambling so yeah but basically just get those goals done you know blacktop is Sometimes I get in games with this such easy people and it's very easy to win. But um yeah, if you're like an epic tier, you know, you can go into Black Top and you can probably finish in second or third. It's not that hard. That's pretty fun. And then obviously, you know, you do the ultimate creator, you can stick to these basics, that's fine. And yeah, do this and then max this out, I guess. 
and then pull that and you have a chance of getting, you know, one of these legendaries or one of these, if you get one of these stars, that's most likely not going to happen, but if you do, that's a really good start to getting in the playoffs here. And even these legendaries, um, they're... Uh, they're not really gonna help you. If you're, I mean, if you're like an obviously in like epic or legendary, yeah, those are gonna help you. Just move on to the next level. But you're gonna have to play the game, you know, to push. So that's basically those tips. I'm sure you know people know that, but I'm just saying you have to play. You have to you know play black up. You have to get good goals. You can't just sit there doing 500 you know RP goals every day and expect to get in the playoff tier. The biggest thing is events. Rival Clash, you need to grind that event. Just pick a day where you can just play like most of the day and just grind, and that's that. I mean, you can get you know a Rival Scouts card in two days, two to th you know three days if you play a lot and hot streak a little bit. But yeah, it's not that hard. I've gotten you know I've gone from you know pretty much epic to star tier in about three to four days, but that was last year and I did have some help. But yeah, so now let me just check how much time I have.